milling machine upgrade. A few weeks ago I tore this 20 year old milling machine completely apart and re-lubed all the bearings, reset all the tolerances and it's actually running better than ever. So I decided to upgrade it. I removed all of this equipment. This is a single phase 120 240 volt motor no variable speed to change speeds you have to change the pulleys it's a real pain in the neck so I removed all of that and I installed a VFD and a three-phase motor VFD is variable frequency drive and here's my installation the grade device in the middle is the VFD. It takes 240 volts single phase and converts it to 240 volts three phase. Three phase allows immediate start and stop, immediate reverse and forward, uh, variable speed with torque at low RPMs. It's just a great, great way to run any type of metalworking machinery. Over here we have the power coming in. It simply comes in through that wire. And I mounted and bent some conduit up on the ceiling. The yellow cord is the 240 volt input. And the orange cord is just the 120 volts for the lights and the digital readout and everything else. So that power comes down, goes through a uh, dual leg circuit breaker. Out of the circuit breaker, it flows over into two 10 amp fast acting fuses to protect the variable, fre frequency, the variable frequency drive. From there, it goes into the VFD. And then out of the VFD through this pretty good sized cable here to this brand new two horsepower three phase induction motor. Everything is all hooked up. It works great. But I got a problem. Actually I got two problems. One problem is this motor has a clicking sound. I've called and sent an email to the vendor asking them if they want me to take it apart and see if I can find out what's going on. But something inside is clicking and rubbing. But a bigger problem is my digital readout, DRO. This milling machine I converted years ago to a digital readout, which allows me to run the X, Y, and Z axis using digital readout. The problem is the VFD outputs a ton of EMI, electrical mechanical interference. And whenever I turn on the power to the motor, it completely blanks out my DRO. So I've ordered some filters, I've ordered some ferrite cores, chokes, and I'll be able to resolve this problem, but it's a Right now it's a pretty good problem because without the DRO this milling machine is almost nothing. I don't want to go back to using mechanical gauges. Uh, digital readout is just awesome on this machine. So a follow-up will be how we solve the problem. Also do another video that shows the unit in action. That's it for now.